everyone over here giving you an update on the Hummer build. It's coming along. Uh, a lot of little things happening on it. We're going to go ahead and show you. So that's probably the biggest physical change is you ended up ordering some doors. They're yep. pretty neat. All aluminum, the match. This is pretty close to what they had, right? Like as an original well, it's a bit door. It looks, yeah, the armor. You can look up some pictures and they have this little X deal yeah, on them and the stuff. Door, and I don't know if that's armor, if it's just strength. And I don't know enough about the Hummer still again, but. Learning. Yeah. You're learning all the pieces that it takes. You'll yeah. have to build these little hinges here for the back doors. Yeah, yet, so but... taking the taking the rear door hinges off or the pivots, which that's easy to fabricate there. As you guys can see, it's pretty neat, and that's what he was just talking about. Kind of eventually build some sort of like little roll cage deal that probably has like a soft top or something on it. But at least these half doors keep you kind of sealed in and protected at least here, and then come up with some sort of a top deal like what you're talking about. Yeah. Tie it in, probably put something on the back so you can put the five-way harnesses in. Just a better seat. Then you got some Talk of these back. in. Great stuff on the bottom. Yeah, got my lower seat. We were looking at some of that, like this big panel. So actually, it looks like these seats are kind of like this, where they had like an upper mm -hmm. and then a lower pad. So he, he does have that pad, but he doesn't have anything for the back. So you'll have to have to figure out something there. But that gives you kind of an idea of the little seat with the lower Looks pad. Really comfortable. Maybe get something to change up the... The covers or something yeah they're pretty basic so that's kind of the hard part is you don't want to put like some crazy nice seat in this thing that doesn't match the rest of how raw everything is either but right it's kind of a borderline of what you keep and what you get rid of to... got some straps there because he's working on actually you're putting the cut the front horn off of the front of it from the last time you guys saw it so you've been working on kind of getting that you got some plates that you're figuring about building your yeah, I got that cut off. I'm actually working on my, my front bumper mounts. My plates, I can come off of here. Start giving it visually sealed in, get my stuff mount, get these here so I can tilt the front end. And then you'll end up putting some close. sort of a bumper out here. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to put a stubby bumper instead of going all the way out to the tire. I think I'm only going to carry it. I've been watching some online. They're, they're only... A little bit sportier of a look if it only yeah, is kind of... 44, 44 and a half inches wide. You can still like see this. the tire and stuff through here. Down, and... Yeah, you still see a suspension tire. So I kind of like the... So it's not just so big. The rear bumper, I did the rear bumper on it. Yeah, you ended up building the rear bumper on this thing. Give it the visual of best I can of what a Hummer. I haven't had my hands on a real Hummer, so it's just kind of by pictures. Kind of looks like it's not complete. Well, and then you're also modifying off the stock Suburban frame right? to make a mount for a bumper. So it visually looks right, but it's... <laughs> so I still put my, my receiver hitch on the bottom. Uh, I put some, some D-rings hanging off of here, tie down. Just kind of give it that look of having the... Yeah, it's endless and everything. add to them, just like the four-wheel drive guys or the Hummer guys. I look at some of the stuff, and they've got, shit, it's endless. they got a million things hanging on them and off of them. And, and then you ended up ordering the lights, too. Yeah, I got all new LED lights. I did get my I main tailgate. buckets and stuff. <laughs> he got a tailgate. tailgate. It's sitting over here. I can show you guys. Just It's just a bolt-in bolt tailgate. Yeah. No. Yeah, so there's the. These things are aluminum. Yeah, there's nothing to it. It looks heavy duty, but. It's heavy. But everything, everything's. Pretty light, it's really. It's aluminum. Everything. That'll go right there, and then, so it'll have some sort of a little hinge deal there. there. Yeah, I got it. I ordered the chains. I haven't received my chains. And my... Oh, is that what kind of mounts it is? A... Yeah, it's got a chain that will try to fit here, and then there's an upper part, so. The chain hangs off of here, and then when you put it in, it, it actually hooks into this. Kind of tightens down. thing. Then pivot up here, and it just hangs, so it's guarded. It, it gives does. you guys a, an idea. So that's what he's figuring, like with those doors, and then with this, he might end up having to do some sort of little paint job or something. We're talking, it'd be super sick. He was thinking, like, if it was just all raw aluminum, but it kind of take away from some of the army too. Yeah, but it takes away from your military. It would look sick, though, That's having everything all raw aluminum. I can't imagine sitting there buffing. <laughs> Trying to make it all look or, or you know, scotch bright it so it all looks even it's like that. So. There's, near as I can tell, there's, uh, looks like it was all green at one time, and then they've added this camo, and obviously this one here was green, and they've added 
the tan. Oh yeah, you can see the the stuff. You can see really on the inside where it's that it was at one time. It was a green. Peeling, so probably it was green for something. Then when it was meant to go over to the desk, I think that's when they do the the tan. Depends on where they're at, so what they're going to paint it for. Yes. Yeah. So like I said, I, I don't know a lot of the. So what you think, like coating the bumper, like that you built, or? Well, I thought about it. Just painting it or powder something? Powder, probably just paint it in case they ever want to add something to it. It's easy enough to strip it. Respray it and go. Respray it. It's not like you're dealing with anything that's got the most pristine paint job on it no, anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably, I wanted to try to keep what was here, but now that I'm adding the aluminum doors and... The probably the something with the seats. So and Things are different. I'm, I'm going to end up probably having to repaint or start fresh. So peel off some of this loose yeah. paint and start just adding my own touch to it I tie guess. it back in or something yeah, put some flames on it no i'm just kidding but no it seems to i'm sure they just spray well that's the thing they probably never like buffed it and then like sprayed it they just sprayed on top of whatever was there yeah. so it really never adhered good to go because these are just a utility vehicle they're used for one thing combat or yep getting people to and from in bad situations it's a good situation it'd be cool to know the history on something like this but yeah you never, you never know what it might have went through in its in its lifetime. Yeah, and the people that drove it. To, how much? I think it's how many miles they're on it. Uh, it's got twenty-two thousand. Twenty-two thousand. So it was driven. It definitely had high. some use. That's what we were talking. So the the back of this seat, like probably pins here, goes down, <laughs> bolts there. It, if you look at pictures, it's got like a big mount back here that then a soft pad hooks to it almost. So. That's going to kind of be changed up. You figure you'd probably get this re recoded, kind of leave the stock seat in it. or Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. Hopefully, maybe. It doesn't look the most comfortable. So these guys that drive these things for 22,000 miles. So oh, man. Definitely earn their thing. So when you see them going up and down the highway, it's not your average car enjoying the day, enjoying the rides. They got their full gear on, their full <laughs> everything. When they're, you see yeah, the when they're in it. So you'd assume we get spoiled right around in our normal daily vehicles. These yeah. guys don't have those luxuries. Yeah, just everything's going to rattle, even the doors. Like, they're just kind of hung there. They're not real crazy, but... Yeah, it's pretty pretty simple builds, really, for kind of what you're looking at, but they serve the purpose. Well, that's what we're talking There had to have been somewhere where, like, the armor plates go in to protect the right. protect the people and everything, because, I mean, the aluminum's not going to hold back anything. Well, one of these days, I like to actually look at a true untouched hummer just to yeah, see to see military wise like what's can, really going out or whatever yeah it'd probably be pretty fascinating to see yeah this is a raw shell but there's so much in depth further yeah as, as most vehicles are well like you literally got the base shell that's all you got yeah, so somebody already stripped this thing out pretty extensively like there's literally nothing to see because there's not much really to pull out and he did get the doors for this side and everything, so they're all going to match. The turn signals. Like people have robbed different things off of it, so now I'm trying to repurpose it, bring it back, obviously, for another intent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this thing's going to be pretty wild. It's pretty wide. He ended up actually working on, you got your mount there that you still got to finish and everything, but you got it, your main body mount that comes up, and yep. you'll finish welding all this in and probably putting that gusset like we talked about before. Yeah, well, that's got to add quite a bit of strength right there. In, yeah, is it already in, in there? In here, yep. So you guys can see that. It... So I've added everything. A, a lot of it needs to be finished welding. Once I take the body off for that, then it'll be a. And he does want to do easier. some sort of a little rubber mount between it, so then it's not solid mounted because it'll just tear up the aluminum if it's sitting there solid mounted right and down. Yeah, the road so it's definitely stuff, so. gonna have to have some rubber, which that's what I put into it with the using what that is is horse mat. Yeah, you use just a big, thick horse mat. Yeah, like they put in horse traders and stuff, so I went and got that and cut it up, and it makes awesome trays for in the bottom of batteries, just body mounts. A lot of uses when you're trying to yeah. not... Just anything to take out some of the vibration. But it's still pretty stiff, so it holds its... Yeah, so it's still pretty pretty solid. I'll end up putting the bottoms. But... Then he ended up getting the back here um, mounted. At, like So that's where he adapted from the factory frame over to his like little adapter plate, and now do a bumper. Uh, which also stiffens the back end up and everything. Which now looking at, you probably could have got by with not chopping it once you figured out kind of where this well, was. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I could have got where I, if I would have just sectioned it and brought it down instead of cutting the whole hump off. Yes. Well, your first build. Well, and without doing it a bazillion times to try to, you knew 
yeah. better clearance anyway. It's not going to hurt nothing like it yeah, is. So. If I was going to come back and do it again. If you're going to get into swapping every Hummers is, and you <laughs> Suburbans. Most of these guys don't do a two-wheel drive Hummer. They want to keep them four-wheel drive. Yeah. You could have set right on the frame where it was, built everything up. Yeah, where you're trying to sink the body. There's not a lot of these where they've... No, I don't even know if there's another one. I think I've seen some renderings where somebody had them. But... Or they're on a completely custom chassis, not necessarily using a Suburban. Right. Suburban chassis, you guys can see, kind of did the... Got his chassis mount there and in here and stuff so the chassis mounts are good so you have what two there two there and two in the very back yep. so there's nothing really chassis mount through the main center portion no of it six for the body and then two up here in the front and then it just hooks to the front so this is its own so that's where he you know getting all like i said those mounts there and now he's working on getting that so then pretty much I guess once you get all this stuff mounted, you're to some suspension to get it back to being a roller. Yeah, then I'm going to set it on the ground and actually try to determine my ride height because then I'm going to put coilovers up on the front and coilover in the back. That way I can adjust the, the ride itself too. And if I, if I want to raise and lower, not that I need to change, but this has got plenty of ground clearance for yeah. just driving. It's definitely way lower than a normal one. But... That's your option. If you got a coil over, you can try to put a stock spring on it, and then you're dealing with stock suspension springs, two inch lowering, two inch. I, I don't want to do. Yeah, that. just put a coil over put and then be done. Be simple. I'll probably end up having to cut the upper mounts off and build you a little yeah, fab tab I type mount. I got them from some back in the day when I cut them on a water jet. I'll just make them, box them, trim it off mm. there. That that's probably the least of my. They make a kit where you can do a coil over that drills through and supports this. And, but otherwise that's pretty much where the chassis is at it's definitely coming together as far as becoming back to a complete yep i'm gonna get my body mounted and then my next thing is to work on the steering i gotta change check this pull the actual steering column out change the it has like this big deal i can link to this here and then i'll be able to actually steer it around the yard and then I, it's really a roller of yeah then it's a roller i can move it out and then i can bring it in work on something else, run some brake lines, run some other stuff. So it can come and go in and out of it. Yeah, it's still by push power, but actually I could probably put a generic motor in here and fire make it run. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty simple. So he's been debating on back and forth whether or not to go full stand and put some huge blower deal on it and all of that, or <laughs> possibly keep it a little more simple and do like a, a kit card possibly thing. We're not sure on the legalities of like, the Hummer and all that and putting a different body on it. So worst case comes to worse is you could always do like a kit car build and then get a title and everything for this and be able to drive it. If as a blower, you're not ever going to probably drive no, it. No, all that stuff would have to come out and you have to put another motor. So you'd always have to do these swaps if you was going to. So we're like, do you go turbo? Do you do a blower? Do you do like a supercharger? So a lot of, a lot of thought going into all of that on exactly what he wants to do. But if he wants to be able to drive it, we got to come up with something that's more of a drivable combo. Uh, not that you're necessarily going to drive it thousands of miles, but car cruises or even shows or whatever would be cool to go. Yeah, just to make it look part of the, the blower. Be, yeah, that'd be the, the cool part, yeah. Yeah, just to the see wow a, factor, the, the bug catcher hanging out in the front, yeah, big was, ugly something sticking out of it because it just look. It definitely set itself apart from the rest at that point from what you've ever seen. Right. <laughs> but with all that. It, There's it, already going to be some enthusiasts that, Either love it or hate it. So yeah, well, everybody just like on the on yeah. the Mazda, some it's people everything. love that car and it's... some people don't. Some people love that thing. Some don't. You know, that's everybody well, thinks it's. I don't know of anybody that don't. <laughs> that's true. I guess we haven't gotten too many uh, negatives. Too many negatives on the Buick, but um, other than uh, yeah, it's not. It's not uh, powered by the original 302, which thank goodness it's not, or whatever the heck that thing, 280, whatever. No, and that's the problem is some people don't know the farthest extent where we bring these projects back. Well, this body was literally four seconds away from just being gone, gone. completely. Like, never, just never. Just destroyed, obviously. They've gutted it from everything. It's got some cracks, bumps, pieces. This is a parts missing. vehicle that now will become a, a, <laughs> a pretty cool build. Yeah, and this stuff's actually pretty pricey. I haven't bothered trying to hit somebody up to see if I could get some help at pieces and parts. Yeah, somebody that's got stuff laying around. Or... Yeah, where the, I'm sure there's people in this world they would donate some. There again, if I told them what I was doing, they'd probably be like, absolutely not. I'm not giving you pieces to. And some would be like, heck yeah, man. To make a Hummer a two wheel drive. <laughs> Burnout machine. Yeah, they'd be like, 
they just don't get it. So therefore you're financially upon yourself. But anyway, so I got new lights. It, finding all the bits and pieces, it's, there again, I don't know Hummer, so I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of. Well, it took you so long to find just even a body for what you wanted to, to use. A body was rough. I mean, you can buy them, but without spending a crazy amount of money for something that's complete drivable or having something that's at least usable. But Well, that's the thing is, and then there again, you tell people what you're trying to do, they're not so apt to let go of. <laughs> I think you're just going to totally destroy it anyway. And that's what they think it's going to end up. It's just going to get destroyed. You're doing something which... But a lot of the Hummers I see, they don't really get used anyway. They, they sit in a yard or they might get driven here or there, but they're not they're not people really out doing a lot with them. So No, it's kind of like a secondary or third vehicle <laughs> yeah. they have. But there again, they don't do some of the stuff with them. I don't know. So it'll be cool to see all the military people, what they think of this thing when it's done and doing burnouts with some flags hanging off the back or something. <laughs> got still a lot of little things to add to it, but it's definitely going to be a little put on a show vehicle here. Still the intent, yep. So what's it, so next, you're, that's what you're figuring is finish off the front end? Yeah, I'm going to get the front end where I can rotate, work on my bumper at the same time I'm working on my steering. Get that back and then... Get that to where I'm at least linked in. And then figure out some suspension pieces. Yeah, because i got to have that before I decide header wise how i'm going to come out i know i got to have a steering i don't want to do it vice versa and yeah feel the steering so first thing to try to get it back to like you said rolling or right. and then i set the suspension down see if i really like the ride height i want to get it as low as i possibly can can get it yep get it to the ground well and that's some of what we're looking at right now it's on the stock suburban wheels and tires but we can definitely put a different style wheel tire on it that'll probably get, help it get lower as well and so we, I don't know if you're going to end up wanting to do big burnouts. I mean, those will be good for doing big burnouts, like the stock wheel and tire. But if you're trying to pop tires, they'll they take a long time. To they'd last the forever using those stock tires like that, especially being the E-rated and all that stuff. So, um, still lots to figure out there. But you might have a rolling Hummer here soon. Yeah. Plus, if I'm going to do the burnout, I'll have to build the liners like we've talked about. So I've been looking at that. How I'm going to. Catch it in the front, come off the frame. I'll go down and have, me, have them bend me some inner liners, roll it, and then they'll pop up in here and then I'll bolt them in. Here's basically, I might you do that anyway, just so it's... So add some strength to the back anyway. Yeah, the strength and plus it's not just gonna beat up the body. Yeah, whenever those tires explode, it would destroy this. So oh, definitely it, gonna have to have a, it ripped the aluminum, the a good liner, right which then, the like you said, lines of strength. So it's probably just a good thing to do anyway on a deal like this. So. Yeah, gonna be, gonna be pretty neat though. There's just lots of bits and pieces. Lots, lots of lots of bits and pieces. Tons of. Gotta do over again. I'd probably try to find. Well, it's just some of these projects are not that easy to find to start that's, with to look at. That's so it. You jump in, you learn it. It sounds good to go buy a whole chassis that has finished pieces, but well, and I I have I've looked at complete vehicles to parts, but it seems like everything in between is robbed of certain pieces parts it's a two man it's a four man one light a, not two <laughs> slam back it's yeah it, they've been a lot of other things to be the people of they're and all and it might have came from the military that way too where they were actually that's true parts yeah. vehicles where they're like ah oh, before it goes we can use that put it on that one right that that you got to figure these are setting somewhere so they'll start picking parts whether that was this one i don't i don't know there again i don't know the history well, just like that, like the belts are still in it, but you have the seats gone or whatever. It's right. I was told this was an ambulance. That's as far as I. That's all the info you got. As far as I got. So that's where he'll soft come with something back seat stuff and all that. But I think it'll be pretty rowdy having four seats in it and be able to probably, like we said, to come up with some sort of little handlebar or something maybe. Yeah, that's what I figured. The seat bar here that holds a five point can also be a a grab bar, a no shit bar, whatever somebody wants to. Yep. Hopefully we can get some rides. Yeah, it'd be cool. Maybe not the rowdy part, but well, maybe a little bit. Put some fellow not go in here go full crazy, but yeah, give a little ride. Go have some fun with some friends. Just do do what we do. It'll be different. There's a lot of people never ridden in a Hummer, let alone one that'll be doing a big old burnout. So nope, I rode in a civilian one, but it was slow mo. I think. 55, 60 was max non-turbo. Yeah, they're not they're not the fastest thing. I wasn't impressed. Friend might ask me if I wanted to buy it from him. I was like, uh, 
No. Not all that impressed by the. It won't take. It'll take me forever to get down the highway. But now <laughs> that I'm older, you find out. Yeah, you could have done a Duramax swap, put some good turbos on it. They rough down the highway. Actually, I was just looking at Jesse James. Uh, just did some swap over on his. Uh, uh, on his H1. Um, yeah, he's got one. You can hear the turbo whine. Uh, it's badass. It shows him rocking down the road and grabs the brakes. You can hear him skipping. <laughs> it's, it's just pretty cool. So everybody's different taste on everything. Yeah, so. This is a little different. This my this my intent is kind of more of a tribute back to our military for what it's been at this point. Not so much in my own personal shine. It is, but yeah, you want to do a Hummer, it kind of fits. Yeah, I, I like the military look. I like the. But to not just change it completely. That's why, like, it's hard to say it'd be cool if it was all aluminum, but yet then you start losing some of the military. This has been a real Humvee. It's been probably all over the world. And... Yeah, you like to think so that this actually did some good for some people back in wherever it was based out of. So Yeah, lives saved in the back of it and stuff like that if it was a, being an ambulance and everything. So yeah. that's what he's talking about, building the little deal. Probably make it more like a slant back because that's what most people know it as, but it's still... It'll have some custom to it, but it'll have some. Yeah, some that you got to make it because it's. <laughs> There's nothing there. Well, there again, too, you find all the pieces and parts. You keep chasing it, you'll get thousands of dollars. I think a slant back top, four man. I think is. I don't know if that was with doors. Maybe it was eight grand. Holy cow! Just yeah, that's crazy. This, so it's kind of like, yeah, it'd be badass, but. But it will it be like this? Will, this is designed to do something different, so have it look yeah. different too. This has its own have its heritage, but yet yeah. be new and different. This has its own thing going. So everybody tries to put it back. Yeah, I would love to have something like that too. But this is, I think this is where it's at. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to turn out pretty neat. Let us know what you guys think of this thing so far. 